Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today I'm going to talk about how to find map distance between two genes that is on the same chromosome and here's a problem suppose you want to map the distance between genes N and P each has two alleles uh, capital N and small n capital P and small p both pairs of the alleles have a complete dominance relationship we will identify the phenotype simply by the letters of the alleles. Your mating would be one parent that is uh, heterozygous for both genes with another um, parent who is going to be homozygous recessive for both genes. And we call such a cross test cross. So uh, you have to identify distance between genes N and P. And here is the results of the cross. And first of all, um, can we looking at this information here tell if uh, these uh, genes on the same chromosome or if these genes are not uh, on the same chromosome and are on the different chromosomes? And here is how we can confirm this. So um, we have one parent that is heterozygous. So the genotype is capital N, small n, and capital P, small p. And uh, when we cross two parents of this particular genotype, that means that each parent has to produce gametes first, and then those gametes should join, fertilize, uh, for example, sperm should fertilize egg, both uh, gametes would be haploid. So let's first find uh, what kind of gametes this genotype can produce. And the first variant would be capital N and capital P. So capital N and capital P. Second variant would be capital N and small p. So capital N and small p. And third variant would be small n and small p. Small n and small, uh, sorry, capital P. And the third variant would be small n and small p. Small n and small p. So this is uh, four type of gametes that this parent can produce. And the second parent only can produce only one type of gametes. That is going to be small n and small p. As you see, there is no other variants. So if we build a Punnett square now and would find what the genotypes possible if we cross these four um, type of gametes produced by parent 1 uh, with uh, parent 2 if we cross. So here we have parent 1 here and parent 2 here. As you see, the genotypes would be as follows. So capital N, small n, and capital P, small p here, and capital N, small n, and small p, small p here, small n, small n, and capital P, small p genotype here, and small n, small n, and small p small p genotype here. And what does it mean? That means that uh, the ratio of these genotypes in the progeny would be as 1 to uh, 1 to 1 and to 1. And that means that uh, these two genes are on the different chromosomes or the distance between um, these two genes is so great that these two genes are probably uh, reside uh, even if on the same chromosome, on the different ends of the chromosome and behave uh, the same way as if they were on the separate chromosomes. But as you see, in, we don't have here ratio as 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 and that means that our genes are on the same chromosome and as you see uh, we have uh, two 
genotypes that prevail and two genotypes uh, that uh, would be recombinants and we have a uh, fewer number of such genotypes here and that means that two genes are linked and we can uh, of course find the distance between these genes and this is very easy to do first we have to find the number of recombinants and as you see this is 100 and divide this number by total number of uh, genotypes and as you see this is 400 and if you need an answer in percentage form we have to multiply by 100 and our answer would be 25% uh, or we also say, can say that 25 uh, centimorgans or map units and this is our answer and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye